This is the latest of the picture math puzzles that uh, show up on Facebook. This one involves uh, witches, wands, and runes. And again, these take um, some understanding of math, but also some good observation as well. Let's take a look at how to solve this one. Okay, let's start this puzzle by noticing any differences that we can see in any of the pictures. So the first thing we can notice is right here, this room is actually two rooms. You can notice it's a little, um, you can see one behind the other here. Same thing with the wand. So if you look at this, there's actually two wands right here. So that's another thing we need to observe in order to solve this. And then this witch in the final one, she does not have a wand and a broom like she has up here. So no wand and no broom. So those are the things we've got to notice and keep in mind for solving this problem. So what we're going to have to do is figure out what a witch is, a fully loaded witch with a wand and a broom, what a wand is, and what a broom is. All right, so let's take a look at the first equation. And here we've got three witches, all the same, all have a wand and a broom. So we've got three witches, gets us 45, divide by that three, and we get one witch is going to be 15. All right, now the second equation is going to be able to get us what a wand is worth. And again, these are all three of the same, three identical wands. So three wands of 21. If we divide by three, we get that one wand is going to be seven. Third equation is going to be able to guess the value for a broom. Now remember, this is actually two brooms here. So we don't have three brooms. We actually have four brooms equals 12. Divide by four, and we get that one broom is going to equal three. All right, so we've solved for a, a witch, a wand, and a broom. And notice the witch, they're talking about a witch with everything. All right, so now let's take a look at the final equation. And we've got to figure out um, first what this witch without um, a broom or a wand is going to be worth. So with both, she's worth 15. We're going to take away 7 because she does not have a wand. We're going to take away another 3 because she doesn't have a broom. So the witch on her own is worth 5. The broom is three, and the wand, the, now remember this is another one of the things that we noticed, this is actually two wands, so if a wand is normally seven, this is gonna be 14. All right, now, one final step in here, we gotta do order of operations, multiplication comes before addition, so we've gotta do this first, three plus 70, and then our final answer here is gonna be 70 and there you have it. Thanks for watching. If it's your first time here, please subscribe right over here. And if you like what you see and you want to see more, I've got another suggestion for you right over here. Thank you.